Yo, what up, team? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. We're about to get that true reaction experience. That's right, y'all. We back with another episode. What we got today, bro? DuckTales 2017, episode 6, The Beagle Birthday Breakout. Oh, ho, ho. let's go. Celebration. It's a celebration. You know, I love my ducks. Ah, treasure. I love the ducks. I love the ducks. <laughs> All right, so. It's happening, y'all. They're really breaking down the series. Yes. Episode 6 in. It's lit. Oh, Uncle Scrooge, man. Doing this John Wick thing. Bro. So dope. So dope. Webby. Yes, the ninja. Webby is my spirit animal now. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> ballerina, also known like she, as ballerina. Yeah, she, she about that business, yeah. man. Donald's about the business. It's like Duck Continental every, is coming. It, it literally feels that way, right? And we did sing coins in the last episode. <laughs> That's what's coming. They're teasing it. I'm so, telling you. It's so much to this this series, man. Yeah. Uh, they just really break it down, everybody. And you got Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Yeah. Their personalities is really shining. And they're being molded into something that I dare say going to be epic moving forward. I even think, and maybe I'm jumping the gun, but if if this show actually, I know it ends like like three seasons, something like that. Yeah, three. But at the end, when we get there, if, if Huey, Dewey, and Louie have evolved, I can see them coming with their own quack pack, new up to date quack pack. Oh, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Well, because yeah. because what I really love about DuckTales and what I've always loved about DuckTales, yes, we got introduced to Launchpad, uh, McCoy, and, and Scrooge McDuck. Mm -hmm. But we were we were also children, so we actually can place ourselves personality wise in them. Right, right. Like, like, who are we really? Like, are we Huey, Dewey, or Louie? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're all adventurous at the end of the day. And yeah. and I think we're gonna play that game at the end. Yeah. Like, who do we who do we see ourselves as at the end? All right, cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm done. That's that's gonna be crazy. Okay. Yeah. There's three of us. Yeah. You I know love what treasure mean? And, and I love adventure. And, and if you're into that other stuff, y'all could throw Webby in, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But I, I really think, like, we're really breaking that down, like, with the story. They're breaking it down. It gives us to understand it. And what, what I really enjoy is that the show elevated to a level as being a grown-up to the way we felt as kids watching them. That's weird, right? Because like, yeah. they're giving us the spunk that we need to keep our viewing experience going. They definitely brought it to the future, but still kept what was great about the original. Yeah. Because, Spirit is there. Cause you sure. can, can you imagine if they kept it exactly like the 80s? We'd be like, okay, I've been there, done that. Yeah. Right, right. But they give you that action portion yeah. and that dialogue and that history that makes us intrigued. So I'm ready to go ahead and react. What about y'all? Let's get these headphones it. on, man. Unless y'all got something to say. Oh, at the end. I'll do it at the end. All right, bet. Yeah. Bet. All right. Hot dog costumes. I'm sorry, what? You know, Look at the seagulls, they came out of nowhere. <laughs> Louie hates hot dogs, so he probably won't eat us. I do hate hot dogs. I think we'll be good. <laughs> I love how the seagulls are just right? sitting there so waiting to eat. what do you need me to do? <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Relax. I keep hearing Sonic. Sonic. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then he has a blue shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Huey always handles me. the map. Captain <laughs> Lost. Captain <laughs> Lost. I don't know why we're laughing. <laughs> Onward to adventure. <laughs> Just we never had to stick four people on this thing. Here, Webby, you can take my spot. No, no, it's okay. Unless sure? Captain Lost gets us lost again. Captain Lost. Captain they didn't do it intentionally, you know. Yeah. They got a system, you know. Yeah. Uh -oh. No hope of survival. Help! She's about to run right into a trap. Mm -hmm. And who's I that, Daisy? Either a sailor. No, no, those are for me. I'm just messing around, you know, like a game. Oh. Fun! Let me try! Please recycle this bottle. Okay, I don't think I get this game. <laughs> Is that a vintage Sumerian talisman? Dunno, found it at a thrift shop. Y you've got some pink in your hair. I, I think someone pranked you. It's supposed to look this way. Oh! Sure. Actually got it off the lead singer of the Featherweights after a gig in Paris. You, you haven't? Oh, you gotta go. It's like here, only fancier. Just crawl around in the catacombs. That's cool, she got found a friend. Touch right. a skull. Oh, okay. Here, circus yeah. acrobats keep elephant hairs in their pockets for good luck. I don't know why I just told you that. Or Whoa, easy, Flippy. Webby! Lena, thanks for the bottle. Hey. You want to come with me to this blowout on the edge of town? Could, could we just wait for my friends so I can let them know where I'm going? But the party could be over by then. Sure. You know, she reminds me of Hit Girl. Yeah. <laughs> Been trained and never really got a chance to really explore yeah. being yeah. a kid. And... All the best parties are at burnt out junkyards. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all of them. Rivals. My boy! 
Remember the instant at the arcade? It warms my heart to see all of you here together. <laughs> That's Glam Yankees. The Deja Vu's. The 6th Avenue Meanies. That's the Warriors. The 6th Avenue Friendlies. <laughs> the Tumble Bums. <laughs> the Ugly Failures. My so is that all her offspring? Uh, I like the one with the braces, bro. That was kind of cool, like like a shaggy. Get out of here. Yeah. <clears throat> uh oh, no way. Ma said we're not supposed to mess with them. Remember? Oh, every single time. <laughs> Dang. <Whoa>. Oh. <laughs> Get him, boys. <laughs> we almost died. <gasps> die! Now we on some Mad Max right now. <laughs> right. Oh, what was it? Death Race? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Parkour. <laughs> She's about to do the jacket. She about to do yep. <laughs> the <Yo. laughs> <Rubble and> Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. Smooth moves back there. If it was Thanks. me, I would have threw my Wait, brother up there. <laughs> nope. What does Ma Beagle have against you anyway? Oh, nothing. That's my house. If we can make it there, we'll be oh, safe. Yeah. You fight mob bosses and you live in a mansion? Ah! You're the long board chiquitas. What are you gonna do? Ollie all the way over here? Maybe we shouldn't keep <laughs> Wow. <laughs> 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 this is Ma Beagle with a very special birthday request. Yeah, I like the shaggy. Get me the best gift a mother could get. This is our shot, guys. Couldn't we just be the winners? <laughs> now let's not get crazy. Plan B? Who needs a plan? Fancy seeing you lot in this air warehouse. Who are you? Oh, Tell whoa. Me. Did Ma ever mention a pawn to you? She has blue eyes, bro. Right. I don't even think she showers. Uh, meat pies, bangers and mash. <laughs> My sister and I will be certain to tell our dearest Mama Beagle of the gracious hospitality we've received here in the colonies. She talks fancy. I trust her. Well, they are family. I mean, why would they lie? Well, uh... A keepsake of our serendipitous meeting. Ta-ta! <laughs> Wait, was that them? <laughs> Man. You totally clown those jokers in. We got a radio so we can track them. I hear an American accent till I was like seven. So she's using Thank another accent. Mm -hmm. That's tight. So guys, you're my new I want to meet her parents. You mean those right. three nerds who ditched you on a beach? Oh, yeah. no, no. There were only three spots on the boat, so I let them go. We're cool like that. It's a family thing. But family, family is the best. You go on adventures together, make inside jokes. <laughs> like, and since then, they call him Captain Lost. <laughs> Sometimes it's like they have their own secret language. It's just. <laughs> hey, look at that. The, uh, the rocket slide. These are the guys I was talking about. Lena, this is Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Well, like the girls in this show are exactly badass. The same. Man, they'll whoop your ass, bro. No way, we're all unique snowflakes. Anti disestablishmentarianism. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> We've been worried out of our minds. Well, uh, you were so worried that you left her on a beach and didn't show up for four hours? Why would you put me in charge of the map again? This is not on me! Captain Lost! Yeah, they seem like a real tight crew. Oh, sweet. Here we go. Yep. Ma to the tumble bums. The Rugrats have been spotted in your turn. I'm play. Nope. Those are straight warriors right mm -hmm. there. Yep. Why are the Beagle <laughs> Boys even after you? Because we shut their mother's face in a cake. Try to keep we made their plan. <laughs> okay, we've got a compass, a half-empty canteen, three old banana peels. Wait, wait, three? Did you eat my banana? I need my potassium. What? Let the boy band be bathed while we sneak out. I can't leave them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm fine. It's dumb. I just... I thought Lena and I could maybe have what you three have. I promise we'll never leave you off the boat again. We'll leave Louie. He's bad at most things. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, Honey, bro. I've been kidnapped by the Beagle Boys, Lena. <gasps> she didn't ditch me. She was captured. Oh wait. Oh snap. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but at least I'll get a little slice of revenge. We have yeah. to help her. Me and Lena fought a truck and beat the taquitos, and we're British together. You wouldn't leave each other behind, and I'm not leaving her. And this time, I'm getting a spot in the stupid boat. Uh, guys. I got a situation here. Rough day, huh? Well, here, courtesy of the Sixth Avenue Friendlies. Webby, you came. Like I would ditch you. Oh. You two ladies have given us a lot of trouble tonight. And we've got some early Mother's Day shopping out of the way, too. <laughs> nice, nice, big nice. Big time nice. tomorrow, big okay. time tomorrow. What's your 1020? See, now they have what we have. Now I remember why I avoid family. <laughs> all they do is fight. Now they have what we have. We all leap out and yell surprise. Any questions? Yeah, I got one. Say what well, now? I mean, you could all hand us over and share the credit. I mean, we're like the main guys, right? Give someone else a chance. Yeah. We're like anti-authority, bro. We don't believe in following. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. I like that. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Just yep. the same thing, bro. Let me let go. <laughs> My thing is, who's the father? Right, right. <laughs> None of you get birthdays this year. Dang. She got a lot of kids, right? Man. That who the daddy? Was awesome. You turn the entire Beagle family against each other with a question. You are my new favorite. Oh, big. <laughs> That's what family's about, eh, Inglebeth? A little penny come <laughs> quick to get you yet to be. Fluffin's nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Got him again. Okay, who is she? MI6. Show thyself the witch. before this once more shall be oh, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magica's niece? Nice. Oh! I see Smith biting his nails. Not biting my nails. Supernatural ducks. It's the witch! Not biting my nails. But magic is a niece. Super, supernatural ducks. I'm, like, I'm, I'm imagining when Webby finds out. <laughs> How she gonna handle it? But I don't think she knows she's a bad guy yet. No, I know, but when she finds out. That she said she used her to get to him. Yeah. Damn, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt Webby. Yeah. It's that gonna hurt Webby's feelings. It's gonna hurt, hurt her feelings. Yeah. Yeah, revenge play is gonna come out real soon. Right? Yeah, yeah. So. And, yeah. And this ain't, this ain't baby Webby that we, that nah, we knew. This, this is determination. This new Webby, Webby. is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This new Webby got hands. Yeah. <laughs> what, she, what, and we what, saw what she was doing. She was just having fun. Yeah. What's the yeah. girl's name? The, 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 Lena. 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 Yeah. I think Lena would. Her, her 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 initial plan is to get there, mm -hmm. but once she realizes that she likes the family, yeah. I think she'll fight her. her yeah, her, her, her it, she, it's going to be a switch. Like, is Lena, that her aunt or is that just the talisman? She she called her aunt Magica. So that's her. All right, yeah, so maybe yeah. So then so, I think she'll be able to fight him back. Yeah, she. I, I, it, it'll be a. I think it'll be a switch, but the the reveal is what it's going to be like. That oh, was good. Man. See, I, I like this. Like they really they're really breaking it down, man. Like they're breaking the villains down. So much potential, man. So much potential. This this definitely wasn't what I thought it was going to be based on the title. I thought Webby I thought Webby was going to accidentally break out of the Beagle Daddy. <laughs> I want to oh, know no. what he what, what he looked like. Right? Like, yo, like he got a lot of kids out here. Yeah, he got a lot of history too. Just like a Beagle, <laughs> have kids and leave. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I, I like how like the series just as a whole just really focuses on the legacy and family dynamics on the good and bad side. So you getting backstory on everybody yeah and, and then I, everybody's adventure is going to happen in different scenarios and then the crossing the past which is always going to be the exciting yeah. part yeah and i i like the fact that each episode you get a you get somebody different fleshed out yeah or, or you see a, a different side of somebody like we got introduced to gyro last episode mm -hmm. right so you know 
Gizmo Duck shouldn't be too far, but <laughs> right. But yeah, it, 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 I, I'm loving this. The the, the exploration mm-hmm. aspect right now. I stand by it, man. They need to make a duck movie, bro. Out of my comics, they man. need they need to make a, a Infinity War with the ducks, bro, of Disney. I'm yeah. I, seeing all the talent that they're producing mm-hmm. just on Ducktales itself. Yeah. And then to add in the other ducks, mm-hmm. like I'm there, man. Like the team's just missing. Like I could see right now, <laughs> because of the like even making a short because of the MCU, how would right. the duck gets <laughs> gets shifted into a parallel universe, and he gets into the Disney universe. And he has to build a squad to go against Lord knows what. I'm down. From the makers of Doctor Strange. Hey, Multiverse I'm, of Duck. You going to include the Mighty Ducks in there since you're going there? <laughs> the Mighty Ducks exist. They exist. Multiverse like, of Duck Bird. I'm here for it. Yeah. Hey, like, run you, it. You got, the, you, got, you got the Mighty Ducks. You got you got the Mighty Ducks. Howard the Duck. Uh, uh, Donald. Donald. Daisy. Oh, forgot about Huey, that. Huey, Dewey, Louie. Mm-hmm. Scrooge. Scrooge. Webby. Webby. Her, uh, her, her, her grandmother. Her grandmother. Yeah. Uh, uh, Launchpad. Uh, Darkwing Duck. Mm-hmm. You have oh, Darkwing yeah. Duck's niece. Gyro, you, have, so you have Gyro Duck. Who was it that becomes... Oh, uh, Fenton. Fenton becomes... Uh, Fenton puts on the suit and becomes uh, Mega Duck or whatever it is. It Gizmo? Is. Yeah, Gizmo. The Gizmo. suit that Gizmo makes. Yeah. Fenton, Gizmo. Puts, Fenton ends up putting it on and becoming... And you... Oh, you... Oh, I forgot the... Uh, Gyro Duck. I forgot yeah. the other duck thing, but the, the Doc Brown of the, the universe, the old duck, the scientist one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have him. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, I forgot his name. Um, Darkwing has a duck that has uh, electronic powers or something. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, like as far as the yeah, hero, like, hero like yeah, yeah. you got that, you have those. But they would be around though. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can see it working. And all of them after that's a squad. All of them is after Spruce is number one die. <laughs> I think it'd be a little bit more severe, man. I, I think it's to take over the world or the universe or something, man. I, I, Uncle Scrooge is back in action. Yeah, man. I I I, I, yeah. I could see that making an expandable version of the ducks, man. I'm down. I, I'm, I'm with it, bro. I have to build a team. And it's oh, like, man, yo, it's, like, let's run it, bro. Let's made, go find the rest of my treasure. And since oh, we got shoot. older versions of Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Webby make uh make Darkwing Duck's niece a little older and trained, too. <laughs> like, it can work, man, I think. And then you can introduce a whole new duck. Duck Burke International. You can introduce Continental, some, bro. Just go there. Just yeah, go there. You can, you, can, you can introduce a whole new duck. Um, or... Like you said, do shorts or yeah. like short show, shows based on if the ducks were in a, another universe. Yeah. Like John Wick. Yeah. Or uh, uh, Star Wars, mm-hmm. Duck Wars. What if it? What if yeah. it? You yeah. Know what I mean, I think, oh, I, think that'd be dope. I think the ducks. Yeah. I think Disney can start reviving itself when it comes to shows like that, and you have to keep it duck. And it makes like, it hot. It's no you know what I mean? Yeah. Like if I tell you a duck can pull a truck, then shut the. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it really worked though. Like, I will watch. When you see stuff, when you watch. see stuff like the Ninja Turtles and how they are still going, I think the ducks have that. Animals speak to people, yeah, in a way that humans don't. You know what I mean? Like, and it's longevity because they're unpredictable too. Yeah, you know, like you rich, can make you characters. can make a transformer version of the ducks, <laughs> robot ducks in sky or something in sky. Oh no, you know, like just play Planet with the franchise. Planet of the Ducks, <laughs> uh, Fast and the Furious Ducks. I'm down. Because you know, like it's funny because when you watch when the you watch the shows back in the day, they would go to movie theaters and they would have that Indiana yeah, Duck mm-hmm. stuff like that. Like actually play on that, play on that idea and just do like do like mini movies of the ducks. Why did I just picture Donald Duck getting out of the getting out of the driver's seat of a of a Charger saying family? <laughs> Right. And this episode was about family. <laughs> and the most high tech gear of all time. You know what I'm saying? Beating like everybody. Like, you, I could see a Con Air episode of Ducks. Have you say? Oh man, <laughs> virus <laughs> the virus. Yo, gone in sixty ducks. You Dog. know what I'm saying? Have like, Pete be the villain? Dog. Oh, that'd be cool. It'll work. That'd be cool. Dog. Evil Pete. Donald as Riddick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The Chronicles and of Webby, Duckburg. With Webby as Pitch Jack. Black. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with it. <laughs> <He> don't. Mortal Conduct. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm with it, man. Like, I think. Beverly I, Hills Duck. Beverly Hills Duck, bro. 48 Hours Duckburg. I'll watch. Duck Street you know Fighter know? Duck version. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can, uh, you can really go ham with it. Double oh. Duck. <laughs> you know, uh, Surf Duck. You know, Damn. you can just. I'm down. Oh, man. 
three ducks. Three Huey, ducks. Huey, Huey Dewey three ninjas. Ninja, three ninjas. Yeah. Three ninjas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, they was fighting. They was putting hands. So. I think that would be because what, what made me really think of that was the last action hero. Okay. And it was like, yo, like he goes into a movie, like you could. Do, I, I think it'll work. Yeah. Honestly, I think that's something that these studios need to really start thinking about. It's a great idea. It's it's it's, it's it's not trying to replicate what we had, mm. but it's a great way to take something. It's like a, it's like what, what what happened when women get married. You get something old, something new, something borrowed. Mm -hmm. It's the same idea, wow. but movie wise, something old, making something new, and you borrowing a franchise, yeah. and you're making magic with it. Like, and that's yeah. what Disney stands by is by magic. You know what I mean? Like everybody still wants to see Goof Troop, Goof Troop, Goof Troop. You know what I'm saying? And power line, all that stuff like that. Tevin Campbell, great voice. You know, he did his thing. <laughs> it's time to recre recreate it. You know what I mean? And and bring those characters to the front and center. Like they do it right now with The Simpsons, but yeah. it don't really bite. No, because The Simpsons, like The Simpsons, isn't like The Simpsons is like a knock. Like when they do it, it's like knocking off Robot Chicken and Family Guy. Oh, okay. Family Guy did that with Star Wars, like hey. So like better execution. Yeah. The Simpsons is like all right, it don't work. It's retreading. Because you're trying to yeah. mimic something that already did it. Gotcha. Yeah. But the ducks, you can make stories on them. You could do it like 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 I would say do Mickey. But it don't work. But mm -hmm. what's to say Disney goes and makes a Kingdom Heart film? Bro. All right. Like, you could do it. Or the animation where it's like you're doing the art Epic Mickey, kind of like that, where it was open world. Epic and Mickey. Jumping Oswald from different timelines. Bro, yeah. like, it works. Yeah, black and white adventures. Then you have color. And then you got this. So there's different timelines. Like, we need another Roger art. Rabbit movie or something very similar to that. Ooh. Scrooge McDuck as Vito Corleone. <laughs> I, I'm there. You could do the you could do the office scene in the beginning of The Godfather. You come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding. A mob trilogy, The Duck Father. Yeah, let's go. But this time, it's it Scrooge. The day of, you come to me on the day of Webby's wedding. <laughs> oh my gosh! You know, I, I I'm like brilliant. I can I could one you up on that. You get one called Cold, the replicated of Heat. <laughs> yes. Can you imagine? Yeah, Donald Duck going back and forth, bro. The diner scene. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> oh my god, bro, it works. I will pay full price to see that. It works. And IMAX. <laughs> but guess what? It's Ducky. Not <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> he just wrecked. Oh man. Uh, can you see it? Yes. With that voice. That'd be hilarious and epic. Bro, it works. Donald. Movie fans will know what's up though, but that's that's tight. But guess what? It's not about us. It's, it's about, about y'all. Post your comments down below. Let us know what you guys thought about this episode. And are you guys feeling the idea that we just came up with on top of our heads, man? I really feel like they can really run something like that. You got the Mighty Ducks. You got a lot of stuff going on. You can recreate some ducks. You can make Star, Star Wars duck version-wise because they do man. own Star Wars, bro. They own that. Star Wars. You can make a story far, far, far away and make it with Huey, Dewey, and Louie. And, and Darth Vader is, is uh, uh, actually... I don't know Donald or or Launchpad. <laughs> nah, nah. Launchpad is more of an Obi Wan, but that'd have been very, very unique. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just, just let me know. Basically, what, what he's saying is, it. you guys have the power and you have access to everything. You got so run it, run it. Just do it. You have Planet Apes, Planet of the Ducks. You got it all. You have it all, literally. Like run it. Let's say Mickey, <laughs> Mickey goes into oh a duck version of trying. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Y'all have the properties, man. What, what, what was the movie though? Uh, 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 Russell Crowe. I mean Russell Crowe. Uh, 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 Strongest man. Uh, 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 Strongest man in the world. Strongest Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell. Yeah. You y'all got it. Yep. Yep. All right, but you know, like I said, it's not about us, about y'all. Post your comments down below. Let us know what y'all thought about this episode. Obviously, it was fun, and it's great reacting to this stuff. Um, takes us back one time, you know what I mean? And let me know what you guys thought about the ideas. If you're new to the channel, go to press subscribe button, thumbs this video up, don't forget to share Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, where you get the full length reaction to this episode and many more. Y'all know what to do. Press the button. I'm J3. Run the show. Woo! Ninja says. It's your boy C. Road to 100,000 subscribers.